Hi boys and girls. I'm going to be reading um, Rose's Garden. <clears throat> it's a book by Peter H. Reynolds and he writes these books that are I feel like are more like adult books but he writes them in kids way. They're very inspirational. They make you feel good about something or it sort of makes you think about how you should be or what you should do in life inspirational maybe you'll see what I mean Rose's Garden <clears throat> Rose was a dreamer an adventurer she explored the world in her fantastic teapot she collected seeds from each place she visited to remember it by The teapot became heavy and burned with seeds. It is time to plant my garden. There in the distance was a big bustling city by the sea. Welcome, friend. Sail upriver. It's a lovely there, the harbor master called down to Rose. Thank you. I think I'll explore the city first, said Rose. Did you notice how it's in black and white? She soon found herself in the busiest part of the city, and then she spotted a dusty, forgotten stretch of earth. Hmm, Rose pondered. This little patch needs some color. Rose began preparing the soil, imagining what a different colorful place this could be. She's a hopeful person. And when she went to gather her seeds from the teapot, she noticed a flock of birds flying away from it. The birds seemed to seemed full and happy oh no rose slipped into the teapot and carefully gathered the few remaining seeds and she tucked them into inside her pocket and hurried from the dock oh no but she still has some left <clears throat> rose planted her seeds and waited patiently but nothing seemed to happen The rains of spring made the soil too wet. The heat of summer made the ground too dry. Oh no. The chill of autumn came too early. She waited through the snowy winter. Patient. I hope something happens with those seeds. <clears throat> the snow melted, the ground warmed, and still Rose waited, determined that her seeds would awaken. Word spread of Rose's faith in her garden. One warm spring day, a girl approached Rose with a gift. It was a paper flower. I made it myself for your garden, the girl said, beaming. Thank you, said Rose. The next day, a boy appeared with his own handcrafted flower. Rose was delighted. This will be a good company when my own flowers bloom. You know, like someone seeing her vision and now they're helping her with her vision. Day after day, more children came to visit, each with a paper flower. Each told a story about coming to the city, having journeyed from all over the world like seeds carried on a breeze. Oh, they're from all over the world. Before long, the, gar the, gar the garden was filled with color, glorious color, thousands of flowers, each one made of paper. Rose marveled. As she waited among them, she heard a sound, a buzzing, and she noticed a bee gently land on one of the flowers. She peered closer. This flower was not made of paper. She breathed in a sweet perfume, and then she noticed another real flower, and another. You know, like a little bit, little bit, little bit. Or, <clears throat> when we all work together, this is what can happen. Each flower, real or paper, had appeared around her because Rose believed. Her faith had gathered a garden and the stories of the city. Rose realized that then that her travels were over. She was home, home in this amazing garden. 
She splashed this splash of color in the middle of this great city, surrounded by stories and flowers. Here in Rose Garden, everybody's garden. And look at, just like the flowers, the kids are of all colors and kinds of people together in a garden. So what do you think the message is? What do you think this inspirational book is trying to tell us? Hmm, think about it. See you tomorrow.